Hey guys, it's Chimney Swift here from the Minecraft Workbench community and ChimneySwift11.com. And uh, this is episode 59 of the Minecraft Files. Uh, you may notice I sound a little bit different. I just bought a new microphone, and so I'm essentially sitting behind the silver microphone, as you might say. Um, so yeah, behind the silver mic is your man Chimney Swift here. And uh, tonight I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a blinking indicator light system for your minecart um, your minecart track system. Now, over the next couple days and few episodes, um, we're going to be I'm going to be showing you guys some things about redstone and uh, minecart tracks and and things like that. There's been a lot of requests for that, so I want to make sure to get that content out to you guys as soon as I can. So I know I said I wasn't going to do an episode tonight, but I decided to do one, and I already tried to record and it kind of failed. Uh, so this is take two, and so I've already sort of prepped the area here. Uh, but what you're going to need is some rail, you're going to need some mine carts, and you're going to need a pressure plate, as you can hear. You're going to need some redstone torches and a wall. Now I've prepped the wall back here, um, and I'll show you guys how to use this in a little bit. First thing we're going to do is you need to make a um, you need to make a cart track that's going to uh, it's going to loop around. So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to create what's going to happen basically is this pressure plate is going to be triggered by a mine cart, okay? And the redstone wire is going to travel up here, along here, all the way back here. And it's going to be powering, sending power to these redstone torches, which default setting is on. Um, now, what we're going to do first is um, we're going to lay down the track for the... Uh, uh, for this side of the um, the minecart side, so if we're going to look at it, if we look at it from this side, we're going to lay down the left side track. And to do this, we're going to get rid of this block here, and we're going to bring this baby all the way down, up, and around. And then we're going to go up here. We're going to take away this block, and I'm going to place a piece of cobblestone. All right, so that's the first step. Okay, the next step is uh, we need to make this um, actually, you know what? I might extend this out a little bit more. Oh shoot! Let's just do that. All right. So let's get back. Uh, put some of the sand back. I don't like that there. So we're gonna get rid of this. All right. So now what we're gonna do here is uh, bring this yep up and around like like so. All right, so this is gonna loop by itself. Um, now what else we need to do is lay down the track from this pressure plate, and this is just gonna basically be going up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, and to do this, we're gonna also put another stopper on this end right here. Now I've already made two mine carts. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys kind of how this works and then we're going to relate it straight to the um, the redstone torches here. So what we're going to do first is going to put this cart down and push it onto the pressure plate. And then we're going to set this one here and these guys should boost back and forth like this and just infinite loop. And uh, the, reason, the reason we build these in Minecraft is to um basically create a kind of a holding bay uh for this cart that's the furthest away from us the one on the left here so if you guys want to go ahead and pause the video here as well uh, if you're building along with me as i build this this is a great bird's eye view look right here where i'm looking of how this works and operates um you know going back and forth so if you want to pause the video here and model your creation after this please do so um, it's going to help you a lot um, and in a minute we'll get to the redstone wiring part of it so that it can trigger the uh, redstone torches on the wall. Now if you watched the episode um, that I did on my original world tour, um, from my original YouTube world, um, which by the way guys, if you want to download that, um, I must say this, if you want to download that, the uh, video schedule announcement, I believe that's what it's called, the, the video I did on my video schedule, that video needs to receive 800 likes for you guys to be able to download my original world. So uh, make sure you guys, if you haven't liked it yet, go and like that video. 
um, if you want to receive that. But anyways, I did have the blinking minecart um, indicator lights in that in that world, and I wanted to show you guys how to build that here. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we've let me let me stop these guys for just a second. And what I've done is I've created an area one block below the pressure plate, and uh, redstone wire is activated uh, one block below a source of power. So if I step on it here, the power travels through the pressure plate, down through the cobblestone, and hits activates the redstone wire. So as you can see here, if I can throw, um, the redstone wire is activating this pressure plate. So what we're going to do here is we're going to wire this upwards and around. And I'm going to bring out a repeater because uh, if I don't, it's going to get be more than 15 spaces. And what we're going to do is we're going to wire it over here to the wall where we're going to have the wires go into the wall, basically sending the electricity into these torches, which is going to turn them off. So if I step on this pressure plate here, it should turn these off back and forth back and forth and of course since I'm using a repeater I can delay the signal much longer like this so you can kinda of set it up however you want now all you have to do left or all, all you have left to do now really is um, oh you want to replace the side of the minecart track here uh, next to the pressure plate, you always have to have a wall here. If you don't, when this cart goes down, comes around, and comes back, this cart that's sitting here is going to get bumped by this cart, and it's going to go that way. And you don't want it to go kind of off the track itself. So um, you do want to have um, a border along next to the side that doesn't have the cart track on it, which is where the pressure plate is. So now all you have left to do is put in the minecart track or the minecart which is going to uh, which is going to turn this guy off and if you know how to build an inverter you can switch the signal so that um, these stay on um, I think you have to I forget how to do that but um, and then all you have left to do is place this cart here and these guys are going to loop back and forth like this and the cart is going to be turning uh, this wire on and off which is going to be looping around through here and powering the redstone torches now uh, one way that this is very useful in a uh, a minecart a full minecart track system is that uh, the indicator lights can be very helpful when you are creating some sort of a holding bay so one thing you can do is at some point uh, what we're going to do is we're going to beef this up over the next few days and few episodes is uh, we can create another track system here um, where when input is received below uh, this let's see here if I can destroy this uh, alright let's send this guy back down oops All right, go back down there. Uh oh. Ah, there we go. <laughs> um, what what's gonna happen here is when, on occasion, uh, what you can do is when input is received from uh, an external source. So let's say we've got a um, a redstone torch. I think this might work. If this is placed underneath this block here, it should change. Ah, there it goes. It changed the pattern of the minecart uh, track. Um, and what this will do is, um, if you've got sort of a hopper system, which I have no idea how to create, I have to watch a video on it, um, or a um, an automatic automated minecart system itself, uh, these indicator lights can be very, very helpful to know when your system's working and when it's not working. Um, and I'll show you guys over the next. Um, over the next week or so, kind of how to build and establish a pretty decent looking minecart system. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, a couple things to mention. Um, 
the forums on my website are now up. If you go to the website and you click on the community tab, there is a forums button there. It'll take you to the forums. Please go sign up to the forums, you guys. Introduce yourself to the fellow Swifters. Um, everybody wants to know who everybody is. Everybody's really cool. I've met a lot of people through doing this, and um, it's uh, a great way to get to know people. So sign up for the forums on my website. It's totally free. Um, that was weird. What happened there? There we go. Um, and the next thing is, uh, uh, one of the machinima directors, Sly Fox, uh, Sly Fox Hound, um, he's a bigger YouTuber, uh, there's skeletons over there and I don't want to get shot. He's a big YouTuber and, uh, he's got some good Minecraft videos. Um, he recently released a video for machinima called the Minecraft All-Stars. And what he's going to do is he's going to basically, uh, he wants to, have Machinima Realm directors as guests on his show and big YouTubers that do Minecraft videos. And what you can do is you can go to the comments and you can vote for your favorite Minecrafters. So I want you guys, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. I want you guys to head over to this video. Uh, just leave a comment for me or whoever else you want to see on the video with him. Um, and it'll really help us out. We do a lot for you guys. And so uh, it's always nice to see you guys support us in the community as well. So, um, Make sure you guys uh, go do that for us and uh, help us out and help all of us out here at, the, at our Minecraft Workbench. Um, so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed episode 59 of the Minecraft Files. On Friday will be episode 60, so I hope you guys stay tuned for that. We'll be doing something with Redstone um, and maybe some minecarts as well. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching, and I hope the uh, voice audio sounds a lot clearer, how, clearer now that I'm behind the grand silver microphone, and um, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys uh, also comment and uh, like, press the like, the like button, and uh, make sure you subscribe as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.